Hi. Hi. I probably should have situated before we turned the show on, but That's what? Okay. why is my microphone going around the back of this big box today? I don't know. Do, can I pull it? Is there anything? Let me help I'm pulling. You. I'm pulling. <laughs> I, this is good now. That's all I needed. Oh, that's my headphone, but... Okay, I'll untwist. There oh, we go. Oh, you mean your microphone, not your headphone. No, this one goes on that side, and oh. this one goes... On. It's fine, though. I don't care. I'm good. All right. I'm so good. All right. Hello, Christina. Hello, Emily. How are you? I'm very well. Should we pretend to be puppets of ourselves? Yes, let's. <laughs> Why do puppets always talk with either <laughs> British accents or Southern accents? I didn't know. If you were a puppet, you'd pick the British accent. I clearly well, can see. Today, yeah. Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Friday, good. British Fridays. Yes. Oh, I thought I was going to be late. I ran over to the co-op before I came here, which I never do because wow. I'm always late. But I brought them a basket of my scrunchies oh, to sell. They are going to sell them there. So awesome. everybody go to the co-op the, or the So Row Market. And buy some scrunchies. Nice. You should sell sell them in Randolph at the Holiday Fair. I don't know if they do that. They seem to have more artsy stuff. No, she said she saw your stuff and she on Facebook and she wanted. Oh no, she was talking about my Grammy Sammy crafts. No, she said the scrunchies. Oh, I'll sell scrunchies there. Yeah, I saw her yesterday. I totally would sell scrunchies there. I have like hundreds. Well, get on it. And they're all wicked cool because. I have boxes and boxes of vintage fabric that I've been hanging on to for years for no reason. And this is like the perfect thing to use vintage fabric for. Yeah. So anyway. That's excellent. excellent. And they're back in, apparently. Are they? Like the 80s are back, Christina. Really? My little niece has been making them with me and she wears them to school and all of her friends try to fight her for them. Oh. So. Stocking stuffers, people. 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 Go buy my scrunchies. Don't buy imitation scrunchies. Buy my scrunchies. Yeah. Anyway. Why why scrimp on scrunchies? (laughs) Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mine are cool, too. I've got ones that have, like, geese on them. I've got cats. I've got one that has cheese on it. It was hard to part with that one. What kind of cheese? Like Swiss cheese? Because that's picturesque with holes in it. I think it. I think it was like a platter with cheese and grapes or something. And then there's dragons. I've got one with bumper cars on it. I mean, I, I'm not kidding you. I have every kind of fabric you can imagine. That's awesome. Yeah. Are you making flags too? Oh, my little buntings? Yeah. I thought about that. I could do that. I love I'll those. I'll have to ask the co-op if they want some of those too. Because I do have lots of those still. Yep. 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 Yeah, it's the holidays. The holiday but it's like season. summer today. It's like summer now. It's like thir- yes, it is. Like, I walked outside and I was like, "Wow!" It's thirty-seven or something. That's Thirty-eight. Don't, don't skimp. The other day it was a zero at my house all night, and then half the next day, and it was not cool, Christina. Yeah, that was wrong. That was so wrong that I didn't like. And I had to be outside a bunch too because, well, I didn't have to be, but I was I was being nosy because we have logging and construction types of things going on on our property right now and i just like had to be kind of yeah see what was it, happening checking everything out where's my tea what happened uh you put it in the other room i left cool it with the cap off so we wouldn't spill it in here yeah but so if I it's in the it's i sore. can't drink it if it's in the other room right well right. you could i could just babble about nothing okay, for a second I'm, while you go and get it i'm very good at, about babbling about nothing, even when you're on the other end. Oh, that was fast. I didn't even have to, like, break out the big guns of Babel. Babel. Babel on. It's not a Bible story. Tower. The Towers of Babel. Babel. Yeah, they all talked in different languages, and they couldn't understand each other. I don't know why they just didn't dance. That's what brings everyone well, together. That was the, s- the next thing that happened, but it didn't get into the Bible, because the Bible couldn't cover everything. The Bible. So it just took the bad stuff. Where people got smote. There's so much of my valuable brain space that's been taken up by, by like, stuff that was force-fed to me in Sunday school as a child. Surprise, surprise. Like, I can sing all the Bible verses. I mean, not all the Bible verses, sorry. All the... um, Psalms. Chapter. Like, all the... Is it called chapters? I don't know. Jesus. I was a Unitarian. (laughs) I didn't have to do that stuff. We studied microbes in Sunday school. New, te- uh, New Testament, anyway. I can't remember the song that goes with the Old Testament. Dang it. 
I got Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, first and second Corinthians, first and second. Uh, wait, shoot. I lost my rhythm. Philippians, Philippians, first and second Titus, three Johns, Jude and the Revelation. I missed the whole wow. middle. That's like reciting. I missed the whole middle though. Cause I lost my rhythm. Can you do the? I don't peri- want to start it over. Can you do the periodic table? No. I'd like to hear that one. That's hard. How would you like, because how do you say all those symbols? Somebody has turned it into a thing, like a song or a recitation of some kind. I remember like, seeing you know, it. iron is F-E, but what do you say? F-E? F-E is what you say, I think. I don't know, but it's like a big F, little E, and some have, mm-hmm. you know, it's abbreviations. I, I don't know how to, you can't say abbreviations, really. Yeah, so you don't, you say iron. Is how you do oh, it. Oh, so you just yeah. list the actual element. You don't say it's abbreviation. <sighs> yeah. Maybe it was yeah, Tom Ware or somebody who did that. I love memorizing completely pointless thing. Well, I guess that's not completely pointless, right? I mean, they are elements. Yeah. If I was a scientist, it would matter. But like, like that song, We Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel, which is crazy eight minute long song or something. And mm-hmm. it has just nonstop lyrics. I memorized all of that on a bet once in seventh grade and I still got it. And uh, I have you ever heard an auctioneer do? Yeah, I, but I don't think I could be an auctioneer because I do stumble. My tongue yeah, stumbles. Yeah, but I, I saw a Facebook uh, video of this auctioneer doing Biddy Botter, Biddy Botter bought some butter. He did the <laughs> whole thing. Like Whoa. he did it, he said it slowly so everybody could hear it. And then he did it like so fast, just like auctioneers do. It was Whoa. really good. I haven't been to any good auctions lately. <sighs> We used to, a couple of years ago, we went to this really cool Amish auction. I bought way too much stuff that I didn't need, like toys for my horses. What? Toys for your Which horses? I don't think the Amish what is people that? have toys for their horses, so like, I don't know why they're so selling So they don't crib? So they don't no, none bite of my horses their stalls? Crib. There's some weird... Is there feedback? Do you I hear feedback? No. Okay. No, just to entertain them, like jolly balls. Like we have a bunch of jolly balls. It's just a big rubber ball That's with weird. a handle on it, like like those balls that you sit on and bounce. Oh, you have jolly balls. I know. Well, the dogs and the horses love them. They pick them up by the handle and swing them around, and they whack each other in the face with them, and then they throw them. Okay. But I like that term. I think that could I be. Know. We could use it for other They're things. They're usually like apple scented or something too. But the dogs always go into the horse pasture and take the jolly balls and run out away with them. But the dogs oh. love them way more than the horses do. So I'll have Brock chewed the handle off the last one. So oh. I need another Amish auction to get some more Jolly Balls. Let's do it. Yeah. I mean, we can't, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like I like to be enthusiastic about things and just sort of. Hey, my DJ skills last weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah. How I did had that to go? DJ that dance. I bet you it were was, fantastic. It was, it was all good. My, my music was good. I sandwiched the very modern stuff the kids wanted to hear in with... 80s dance hits and that worked pretty well nice although i wanted to have like a little speaking of auction like a little auction paddle that i could hold up that just said no on it because kids would keep coming up to me and be like can you play can you play this can you play that and i just wanted as soon as they came over to me i just wanted a sign because it was loud i couldn't even hear what they were trying to ask me but the answer was always like no (laughs) so i just wanted to have the little sign (laughs) that's a or paddle. a sign on my DJ table would have been great. Just no, nope, nothing. Go away. Right. Because. Or a sandwich board. I said it to the original kids that were setting up. I said, nobody's coming up in here and asking me anything. No, I'm just going to no play requests. this music. And there's no internet here. So I can't get you guys anything you want. Yeah. And that's the deal. I'm not a real live DJ. You're so tough. You guys go away. But then all these other kids <clears throat> that hadn't heard my speech about leave me alone came and, and then they kept and they, they me. didn't leave you alone. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, well. Tis the sorry life yeah. of a slacker DJ. Yeah. Guess where I went yesterday? I got to go to a place I've never been before. Where? Isn't that exciting? Within an hour. A nail salon. No. Where? That was a good guess, though. I know. I've never been to one either. Yeah. Okay, what? I went to the liquor control board. <laughs> what? Where even is that? <laughs> um, <you laughs> what know, is that? Um, that's where you get permits to serve alcohol for an event, say. Uh-huh. Because my friend Sabra, who has Flag Hill Farm. Yep. She, I just, she, I got this random message from her oh, saying... Shoot. I got a message from her, too, and I haven't responded. No, it's probably because she was asking you to do what I did, which is to 
take $35 to the liquor control board. No, she was asking me to keep one of our sheep at my house or something. Oh, okay. So this but is I can't. different. Well, we can't. Or we're very strict on outside sheep mixing with our sheep because of, oh. of diseases and things. Like, Well, it's not, it's not so easy to find. The where, liquor control where board. Is it? It's near Montpelier High School. But oh. what happened is I, I, I went to the Department of Labor building first. Yeah. And that's locked. You, they don't let you in that. You can't no. just walk in there. Which is it's, weird. Oh, what are they scared there's of? High security in a lot of those buildings, but there's no security in the state house, which kind of makes me super nervous because well, there's where like my guys. John sits in the on the house floor is like if somebody comes in there all cranked up and mad, John is like line of fire first to go. Yeah, I but hate there, his seat. There's probably guys with guns no. in the state house. Yes, oh, there well, is. yeah, there's the Capitol Police, but yeah. they aren't. There's well, no like metal that, detecting or checking anyone who comes in. I don't think they have Capitol Police at the Department of Labor. Well, that's why it's locked. Yeah, but it was weird because I thought I thought I was lost, and there Did was you no have to push, signs. Like, a little button to like be let in. Well, maybe? you could, but what was I going to say? I mean, what was I going to say? True, true. I didn't know what to say, so I didn't press a button and I didn't talk into the speaker. So then I went to another building that was incorrect, which was like buildings and grounds for the department for closer, state of though, you're getting closer. I was closer, and then I thought the road end. It looked like the road ended, but I had to go just a little bit further. Around a corner, and there it was. Wow. The Department of Liquor Control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they took the 35 bucks. So now, you know, Sabre and Sebastian can serve like eight people alcohol for an event. It's so stupid. And they don't take PayPal, and they don't take Visa cards. So they couldn't do it on the phone. They couldn't pay the $35. So I had, to go, to, I had to go to my bank and get $35 cash. That's crazy. Isn't that amazing? That what is. a thing. What a thing that I got to do yesterday. Are you talking about the same Sabre, though? Yeah. 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 Ewing. Ewing. Yeah. Yep. Hey, she has you right in her name. Oh, like sheep. sheep. Oh, my gosh. That's what we were talking about that last week. People have occupations that... Oh, yeah, that match their name. Yeah. I never thought of that. Hmm. hmm. How amazing is that? Pretty Mine amazing. is not very good no. for that. Mine, you can make a lot of puns with it. Yeah, you can. But other than yeah. that, okay. it's not that cool. Yeah. I don't okay. know. I don't know. I tried out my cross-country skis, Christina. It oh, was excellent. Cool. It was I wanna, fun. I want to go to Rickert. Rickert. Where's that? Ripton, near Breadloaf. Okay. I need to get a ski rack for the top of our Prius because... Oh, yeah. I was looking on Craigslist Can't this week t- because yeah. now... I mean, we crammed everybody's skis in it last winter and snowboards, but my kids are taller now and their skis got a few inches longer and they were already being, being like poked in the head last you year. You would think people would make folding skis, right? Wouldn't you? Yeah. Wouldn't you just think? You would think. They can make everything they now. They do make split skis that turn snap together into a snowboard, but they that's, you know, they clip together the yeah. long way. It's or not like they like fold. a 3D printer and just print skis when you at get the to the top of the hill. You yeah. just print them out yeah. at the top of the mountain right. onto your feet. Yeah. Yeah, because that would be super easy. but Or just manifest them like <laughs> how, with spiritual powers. How what do you turn when you go down hills is the problem I was having. Yeah, I have that problem. You don't, you crash. Oh. It's fun because yeah, the hills, I, hills aren't that big, so you just crash. What if we go up a big hill? Or you hill? sit down. Sitting down you, is a good option. Okay. Just sit down. First, I couldn't get my skis on for a while because <clears throat> growing up, I had the kind that had the three little pins, like you stick yeah. it. And then it clips right on. It's obvious how you put right. them on. These ones, the yep. boots have like a little bar oh, in them. Oh, I have both. I have that too. And then there's yeah. just this weird little rubbery grabber thing on the ski binding. Uh. And I'm just like kicking at it in different ways, trying to get clipped in. And it doesn't clip. I'm like, I, I don't even see where this is going to clip. And eventually, all oh. of a sudden, I hear a clicking noise and it's in. And I have no idea yeah. what it hooked to or how. And then... I can't figure out later how to get it off. And I scream and scream at the bottom of our house steps until John and Eli come out to see what's wrong with me. And help you. And I'm like, do you guys see any way to get these off of my feet? (laughs) Because I'm poking and pushing. Right, right. I'm figuring there's got to be a way to do it without like, I mean, while standing up, right? Without so much stress. Well, sometimes you could push your pole. Yeah, I finally, finally, there was a little hole that I had to poke my pole into. And then it came off. Yeah, it was which is tough when it's scary. icy. Sometimes that doesn't yeah. work so good. Yeah. But. but 
when I was hunting for them at this big ski sale, they had lots of like the racy kind. Yeah. Like, and I flipped them over and they were just smooth on the bottom. And I said, no, no way. I need the kind that has a little fish scale so that I don't slide backwards down the hill. So I finally found some. So that was cool. Nice. We're going to have fun. We'll have fun. Yeah. I, I'm not very good at it. I'm good at going flat and up. Down was not good. Yeah, I don't care so much about down. Because I thought for a second, even though I used to cross-country ski all the time in high school, I had like a two-mile loop I'd do with some friends that mm-hmm. went past both of our houses. I don't remember how we did it because it was a steep downhill to my friend's house. And then they'd come the uphill and we'd ski back. Well, if it's like a good sledding hill, you can just yeah. go fast and then not crash right. into well, if anything. It's, if it's open. But yeah, I was... Was this in the woods? Trying to go. No, I was mostly going in our fields when I was practicing, but but there's trees because John insists on planting trees all the time, which makes me crazy. Oh, so I hit a couple. He'll have to stop because it's winter now. He can't plant. I know. I'm so now. glad. But nice. Anyway. It's nice how certain things stop. I tried. I was like, oh, I think I remember. I think you just have to s- turn like way before it's time to turn. So I'm trying to, but nothing happens when you're trying to turn. Yeah, it's tricky. So I mean, you, yeah, mm-hmm. that's a long discussion. I guess that like that part of the skiing is well let's try to table. let's try let's set that as a goal to figure out how to uh turn our skis our, okay. our cross-country ski how to do a turn i tried to let's do like what telly skiers do and i was like oh maybe i'll just like bend down really hard on one knee but that didn't work at all that did nothing so yeah i think you have to actually like step like in midair like jump around well you can telly ski on certain cross-country skis yeah i don't think so, it was these ones yeah the short ones of course are easier to to maneuver that's I why I, been, like, I should have got little like, kid ones that i got been better yeah i got the backcountry kind oh. which is wider, wider. Yeah, and they have the skinny, metal but... edges so we can oh, you know metal edges. oh yeah that sounds kind of nice doesn't it can I add time yeah <laughs> we're gonna get so proficient and we're gonna like <sighs> lust for new gear next year because we're gonna get better so we're gonna want better gear that's what happens i don't know so i have there's so much ski gear in my house yeah my kid my older kid has this idea that, like, it's terrible for ski gear to be outside in the cold. So he's always bringing it in oh, to work then, on it or whatever. And then he won't bring it back out. He's like, no, it's bad oh, for it to be outside. Oh, it, Fluctuating but, temperatures weakens the plastic. But actually, door. with cross-country skis, you want them to be yeah, cold. Yeah, of course. Right? You want all ski gear oh, to be Oh, I guess cold. so. But he just thinks that it's, like, harmful. Well, okay. A what couple is, years what is ago, it harmful for? What's what's the truth? No, what's the grain of truth? I don't know. In I it? think bright sun is the most harmful for like the bindings and stuff because it does break down the plastics. Okay. But we did have an incident a couple years ago where my skis, my downhill skis, which I don't really use anyway because I snowboard, my downhill skis that were really nice. Um, I went to get them out to loan them to somebody because again I'm not using them, and a squirrel or a rat or something had basically eaten part of the ski. Which I've never really? heard of. Why would like, they do that? Huh. Maybe it was because of the wax? I don't oh. know. But like, they'd eaten... They do like wax. I, it was just Because the mice in my house eat my soap. So the top coat was of the... Uh, like, the top of my skis had like... It was chewed around the edges up near the, the tip. And it was very... It was probably still functional, but so weird and ugly looking that I was really <laughs> upset. Yeah, And so now Eli is terrified that whatever this renegade squirrel is that's eating ski equipment is going to come and eat his precious oh, snowboards. Yes. So he's always got them in well, the house and I'm always tripping over them. He could spray it with like deer off. Or no spray. chew. We have that for the dogs. Well, just for or, Brocky. Or cayenne Brocky pepper. That's when we were gone for a long, too long. Yeah, just like chili oil. Like that oil yeah. that has chili so is hot. That's a good idea. Yeah. It sounds like my mic is overloading. That's but what I, I was hearing. Yeah, I don't see it. Um, That's what I thought it was feedback. Every, all our levels something. are are normal. Hey, I yeah. hear the train. Oh, it's what? a train. You do? Usually you hear it. Wait. I didn't sh- hear it yet. Sh- sh- just calm down. I'm so calm. Get really relaxed. You didn't hear it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I swear I did. Hear it? Yes. <laughs> that is weird. Well, my microphone is... But you should hear it, too. I was I, saying, no, I was I thinking my microphone is facing... Um, what direction is this? Is this, like, west? Um, 
Which is the direction the train comes from. You're asking the wrong person. I don't know I think it's west. which way it's up most of the time. Yeah, Thank God there's gravity. E- well, you know where the sun out. comes up. Not here. Well, I'm not if you ever here when forget, just just think of that. That's like a we really can't, easy go-to. We don't go know what time to. it is here because we have this radio station midday, so the sun is always like up at the top. Is that, that train like that far? Train is a long it's really way far off. away. Should I try to open the window? Sure. Although, did that didn't work well last time because the window actually. Well, I has think a storm. It, it's worked pretty good. Seriously. Yeah. It did. All right, I'll try it. Ugh. Well, we'll just be down to one layer of glass here. Hold on. Maybe it's going slowly. Like a squirrel is living here in the studio. Maybe too. it's Santa early. I love Santa. Okay. It might be Santa. Let's just. Sounds like the muffler is falling off the train. Isn't that like it sounds like a choo choo train? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. That was cool. Okay. I don't think that other sound you were hearing was the train. I think it was somebody with their Jake brakes on at the same time. No. I think so. What do you mean? I heard it. Maybe. Maybe. I heard it in my soul. I saw, speaking of Santa, I saw a very funny Facebook meme. It was kind of this tall, slender, hipster looking guy who did happen to have white hair and a white beard. And he had a long red coat on and then a little plaid red vest and a bow tie and some plaid or some like skinny red jeans and it was like santa's or santa's tinder profile after he gets a divorce and, <laughs> and slims yeah, down or something i can't remember i but see it, it was, was probably funny. jerry garcia right he was a handsome it? dude actually yeah and really, he looked a little santa-esque it was super hot okay you know, i know that i've I, <clears throat> fully appreciated or i've 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 arrived at middle agehood when i think of incidences where Santa could be super hot. <laughs> so. Okay. What? Why are you no, I, I'm that? just, I'm thinking that was a, such a complex I, group of thoughts I, I'm that just I couldn't show quite it to you because you know together. what? You're going to think he's hot too and then we're going to have to open a window in here. You mean the fake Santa was hot. We've had this discussion before about fake Santas, right? Yeah. So this, you can't really call him Santa. You have to call him fake Santa. So a fake Santa... Santa that looks like Jerry Garcia. He could be hot. He didn't. He didn't really look like Jerry Garcia. But I think they all do, don't they? No, not this one. This one was. She's looking at her phone. I'm, I just She's have scr- to. Oh, there I he did, is. Uh, Woo! Let me see. Oh, that's you what. Think? When Santa gets on a keto diet and creates a Tinder profile after his divorce, I don't know. This Santa's kind of hot. <laughs> uh, I think it's. I think he's got just a posture. It's a posture thing, and it's it's his. He's looking diffident, like normally Santa looks jo- I, like jolly balls. Here's a, here's a cuteness tip, men. I for some reason I like it when guys have their hands in their front pockets, like just standing there. Really? Yeah, I don't but know this, why that. Yeah, like, he has his hands in his coat pockets which, uh, or whatever. And his, and his Put coat, your hands in your pockets. His coat is like full length down to the floor. Yeah. Um. Red. Red. Wool. I'm just saying that's that, not Santa. a bow tie. That's like no, a tie. I know, I know. It was different in my head, but he still is cute. Okay, we got to go to to a song. Okay. Woo! Wow, just relax. So I look at this Santa for a little. <laughs> okay, so this is. <laughs> I was gonna make a dirty joke, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not going to. We'll get to that in the second section. Okay. Okay, so this is my friend Martin. I finally got his album, his new album, onto my iPad. It's only taken me like nine months. So here we go. This is called Drifting. Tell me a story, make it heroic, make it come true. Father, Father, give me some counsel, tell me what I am supposed to do. 
supposed to do What do you mean? You don't know either That isn't how this is supposed to go Father, Father, tell me the secret Give me an answer Please don't say Mama, make me feel better I'm under the weather and I'm feeling blue Tell me, tell me I'll come out the winner And all of those bullies will see I'm true What do you mean? You're wondering too Clinging to hope and for more things to do Mama why do you hug me with fright? That horrible fright that says I'm just like you. I'm drifting. Would I even know if it looked me straight in the eye? I can't think of anything worse than not knowing the answer before I die. Tell me you love me There's no one above me And never will be Tell me you'll save every comment and comfort All loving gestures for no one but me What do you mean? There are some restrictions I can't go and leave you for two days How can I go on being Life on the road is the one thing that pays Tell me the reason, tell me the source which causes these pains I've been having this terrible fever, this terrible swelling in all of my veins What do you mean? It's all in my head, I should give it a rest and just put a bit that's no way, no way to go If you're trying your best just to get a I'm drifting, would I even know if it looked me straight in the eye? I can't think of anything worse than not knowing Martin. Where did I put my microphone? Oh, there it is. Oh. And you'll have to come to the podcast to get his last name because I don't know how to say it. Oh. Yeah. One of those. One of those, those yeah. Names. One of those friends <laughs> who I haven't met in person, so I, we haven't straightened that out yet, but at some point we will, I'm sure. He's got a studio yes. over across the pond. Across the pond. Yes. So let's see. Sure, I had all kinds of interesting things to talk to you. My kid was about. so mad, sorry, vegetarian, that he didn't get a <laughs> that he didn't get a deer during youth hunting season, and this is his last time to do youth hunting season. He's an, he's 
considered an adult hunter next year. But anyway, it was a bummer because all day long on Facebook, every one of his like little friends and kids who are completely, I mean, I, I have no idea how they possibly shot something, but he just kept seeing everybody getting deer and he didn't get one. And he went out like from early in the morning until late at night, two days in a row. Yeah. And then the very next day, John was trying to drive home from, I think a select board meeting or something. And he had to slam on his brakes on our road while these deer ran across the road. And then he started to creep ahead again. And a deer ran into the back of our Prius. Whoa. Like smacked, smashed into Whoa. it and then got up and ran off again. That's crazy. So Eli was furious that these deer are just everywhere. And one, you know, literally thro- like flung itself at our right. car and he couldn't sh- shoot one. But That's just the way it is sometimes. Yeah. I'm sorry to say. Sh- we didn't have any room in the freezer anyway. And I don't like venison or any meat. So. Yeah. I had a deer in my yard, which I don't usually oh. see him up we at the crab, always have crab apple. Yard yeah. I don't have an orchard. But. Well, weird. I do too. I mean, I have crab apples and apples yeah. and they, they come know, in. They know though. They know to go hide. Yeah. They're good hiders. Mm-hmm. But I came up upon one yep. midday and it ran anyway, away. I don't know if my kid really wanted to shoot another one anyway. He had conflicted feelings last time he got one. He yeah. was happy because he does eat meat and he likes it. And he believes that if you eat meat, you should know where it comes from and, and, be right. responsible for the whole kind of process but he also felt bad too at the same time so i i don't know it's, it's a, a mixed, tricky mixed it's a bag tricky situation yeah don't anyway. get me going i won't don't get me going so um, uh, i have some advice okay don't go into the at&t store and tell them that you hate the cloud <laughs> just that you that was your little, sole purpose for going in there tip. i hate the cloud you walked well in and i that. went in because i hadn't i don't use the cloud i try to avoid using the cloud because i just don't like spreading all my stuff into strange uh you know strange buildings across the planet that harbor such things they're really all mostly new jersey but i also hate the cloud i don't yesterday i was trying to i was scrolling through amazon prime looking for a certain um movie that my kids wanted to see because you can you can order nobody watches dvds anymore so you can order dvds on amazon prime for like three bucks or whatever so i was looking for this movie um and then i clicked on another one that i remember watching as a kid like you know 80s teen movie or something i thought that they might think was funny and then it had like the buy it options and i clicked on that and it was Mm -hmm. like you purchased this movie on oh on but not not like a tangible movie that was going to be sent to you it was like a cloud version that you could watch on your computer oh you was like stream we're putting yes yes you're like you can now stream this movie you own this movie it's in your movies and da 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 go to your watch it now you didn't want to stream it so no i wasn't intending to do that at all but then i was like oh great and it was crazy expensive i hadn't meant to get it that one was like ten dollars oh gosh to have a movie in the cloud that you can connect to apparently yeah so i was like this is stupid i didn't want to do that didn't mean to do that i just clicked it not realizing it was the streaming buying option i thought it was another one and then, so whatever, later the kids came home from school. We did their homework. Eli rehearsed his play dance for a little while. And then I said, oh, well, I accidentally bought this movie in the cloud. Why don't we watch it? <clears throat> and then I tried to retrieve it on our TV, which is a smart TV and brand new. And it was like, no, you need the new version of Chrome to do this. So we tried to like get it. It oh, wouldn't happen. I was God. like, all right, well, we'll go watch it on the what device I downloaded it on, on the computer. So I click on it on the computer. It was like, nope your system is too old to play this movie i was like why did the system let me buy the movie that can't play what a sloppy sloppy no way anywhere and i did everything and i'm like i just spent ten dollars on nothing yeah that's that i didn't even want cloud thank you very much well so the guy who was helping me yeah he was telling he was trying to help me because i couldn't i was you know i told you my phone died Oh, yeah. Yeah, my phone died. So I thought, but I thought if I took the SIM card from the old phone and put it into the new phone that my contacts would transfer over. No, they never do. Well. That's why everybody online is like, new phone, hit me up with your number. Yeah, well, it's just. 
So you and I are lucky it's, like that because we don't call anybody, so we the, don't have to worry about well, it. Well, <laughs> I know, but yeah, but I text, you know. I know, so, me too. <sighs> but so the guy, the guy who was trying to help me, he's like, he thought that I really didn't understand what the cloud was, and so <laughs> he was like gesturing up to the heavens, like, <laughs> oh, it, all, it goes up to the cloud, you know, did you keep your things on the cloud? And he's gesturing up towards the sky, and of course we know that the cloud is actually just it's this building in New, New Jersey or somewhere, yeah. right? It's not actually up with God, up there yeah i think this guy doesn't understand how the cloud works that's what i think also you know what the cloud is bs because about a week after i got my phone and that was years ago because this is an old phone and i started taking pictures it was only like a dozen pictures before it was like your space in the cloud has run well, out because you got the, they want so, you to buy i know and i'm stuff. like no i just bought this stupid expensive phone yeah, why right. am i gonna buy all this extra right. if the cloud is so I got, big i got why an do I have old buy phone space i got a really old phone you did. I got a SE. I don't even know. What I wasn't mine is, even sure what it was. Big rubber eyes. I wasn't quite sure what it was, I, but I figured because it it catapulted it out of my hand yeah. so often. It was cheap. I figured if it's cheap, yeah, you know, get it. Yes, and it probably doesn't. You Work. know, maybe. <laughs> well, maybe it doesn't irradiate you as much or something. Oh, the old I ones. I don't know. I feel like the old ones radiated you more because weren't those the ones they were doing the experiments on, like. Holding well, microwave popcorn next to it, and you can pop it. Cordless, or cordless phones evidently are the worst. Yeah, they are. But oh, it's all bad. Our phone has a cord. Yes, it does. Well, stuck to the wall. Okay, so my sweater kind of smells like mothballs. It's a little distracting. Yeah, it's bad. I just mothballs are a strange thing. Oh, they're so, they're I my my lawnmower smells like mothballs. Oh right, didn't you put some in it? Yeah, to I, keep put bags, mice out I put bags. I put bags of mothballs into it last winter, so hopefully mice wouldn't uh, set up residence inside. And it worked, but it made the whole woodshed smell what like is, uh, what mothballs. Is mothballs. I don't. Like, it's some. Is it it's a chem. It no. What's that chemical? It's something worse. You know, but it can't be worse because mothballs have been around since our great grandmothers. Ethyl, ethyl something. So they didn't have as bad chemicals back then. You know, they hadn't <laughs> figured know. out how to make the bad toxic well, stuff yet. Mm. It's not like they had like Roundup in our grandmother's day. So I'm assuming that mothballs are one of the less toxic things out there. In Actually, a way. Roundup's not that complicated a substance. I'm just saying they didn't have it in you know 1892 or whatever. Oh, who's to say they made mustard gas? In 1892, you know, they made they? they made all like chemotherapy is like made from old um, wartime materials. What? Yeah. What even is it? I don't know. Is it a chemical? There's different is it a chemical. Yeah, or there- is it like laser pulsing things? <laughs> no, because you can get it in a pill form now. So it's got to be something. We better not. We better not go too much farther into this misinformation uh, campaign. Yeah, because I do not know. No, radiation. Is I just know that they, you know, obviously. Yeah, that military contractors wanted to. You know, they had all these stockpiles of crap, and they wanted to somehow utilize it and sell it back to the public. So, of course, they have in many different yes. forms. And, you know, that's where our whole chemical pesticide industry came from, basically. Ugh, gross. Why is my so eye been exciting. twitching for, like, three weeks straight? Hmm? What does I, it mean I, when your eye twitches? Yeah, I get that sometimes. I, I used to get it back when I was your age. When I was young, my eye used to twitch. What, now all of the muscles are just dead and they don't twitch anymore? What? Well, I have different that makes twitches. No sense. And then my thumb twitched for a long time. Oh, yeah. I hate when your thumb twitches. But yeah. you can hide that. The eye one, everyone can look at me and see my eye like going wink, wink, wink. Like, no, you think they can see it. No, but they, they really can't. can. I asked people and they were like, whoa, look at your eye. If you call attention to it, then maybe they can. But you, the whole no, point is to not I call, have to attention call attention to it. to it because otherwise they think that I'm just like having some sort of spazzy. Well, you are tick. kind of a spaz. I know, but I just, I want them to realize that I know I'm a spaz. Knowing you're a spaz is not as bad as not knowing you're a spaz. Well, you just don't want it to physically manifest. Right. And it has, though, a little bit. Well, that's what mm. happens. That's what's growing old is all about is stuff starts to show. Like all the spazziness really starts to show. And then you start thinking Santa's hot. <laughs> just go <this> right <laughs> yeah, <on. laughs> I know. And then what's after that? I, can't, I hate to imagine even what. You know, I have got to tell my kids about Santa. N- well, what? I'm I'm pretty sure they know. Yeah, be careful what you say. I know now. we're on the air. Never mind. 
Well, there there's different levels of Santa. Let's just well, put it I that know, way. I know, and I believe in Santa. But the Tooth Fairy is a different one. And my kids watched a movie the other night in which the people were freaked out because their kid found out there was no Tooth Fairy. Oh. And my kids are watching this. And obviously my older one is my older one. But the younger one was kind of like eyeballing me sideways while he was watching that movie. I was like, do I say anything? I'm not going to say anything. And he lost a tooth the next day. And he made a big deal of telling me exactly where under his pillow he was going to yeah. put it. And I'm like, why are you telling me? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that's that's the progression. Do I look like I have That's wings? actually, that's how it happens. That's how they, that's how they, you know, they slowly, it eases them into the adult reality, right? I mean, with I don't suspicions get some of these first other things. And skepticism. Santa is real. Other Sa- things, the, where do they come from? The spirit of Santa is real. Of what do you course. mean? But as opposed yes. to tooth fairies? Yeah. I feel what do you like mean tooth fairies aren't real to you, but Santa is? Is yes, that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. Why? Why would you make that distinction? I don't know. I don't know. That's a little prejudicial, if that's a word. It, it is now. Um, I don't know why. You just feel like Santa has more weight. Is more of a kind of weighty uh, form. He's got more... I mean... When did this tooth fairy start popping up? I mean, I don't think she's got the history. Uh, fairies do. Right, but not a tooth fairy. Okay, like, where did I that see come your from? point. I see your you point. Know, it Santa's sounds a little around. gimmicky. It might be something so to do with toothpaste, like when the, the advent up, of, say, you know, Colgate and Crest toothpaste. Right. Do you right. know what you could use toothpaste for? Did we talk about this? No, you can put you it on clean, zits, I guess. You can clean your head your your headlights on your car with a toothbrush. Just take oh, it. Oh, a toothbrush. Toothpaste is just going to make them all foggier. No, you when take and you scrub tooth with fairy? toothpaste and a toothbrush on your headlight and it and it and it uh, you know, clears it out there. That's how caustic it is. So don't even think about putting it on your teeth. Use what? something nice on your teeth. You know, like turmeric born. Or baking soda, or something like that. I don't think, t- I don't think or turmeric salt. is good for your teeth. Well, that's right. It's kind of... Uh, it Does it stain your ha! teeth? Despite the seeming... Wait, doesn't time- Bob use turmeric on his teeth? Bob? No. What? Turmeric, I don't think, is for teeth, dude. It's so yellow. Despite yeah. the seeming timelessness of the character, the Tooth Fairy is, in fact, an extremely recent arrival on the mythological scene. Her first print appearance is an eight-page playlet for children by Esther Peter Watkins Arland, Arnold from uh, 1927. Oh, you had a good intuition about that tooth fairy, didn't you? Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. think it's kind of a fakey thing now. I just feel well, like... Well, how far back does Santa go? Oh, my God. Santa goes back further than anything. To the dinosaurs? Um, definitely. When... Well, see, so, you know... Was. Santa's timeless, really. Totally timeless. Timeless Santa. And mm. some Santas really do look just like regular people in, dressed in red. They don't necessarily have to be, like, fat or skinny. It is believed that St. Nicholas was born sometime around 280 A.D. Yeah, but we're talking about... Near something... Myra in modern-day Turkey. Whoa. We're talking about something deeper than that. Aren't know, we? Aren't we talking about the spirit of the Santa being? Yeah. Like anyway, Chris. So see, see Chris how Kringle. I feel. I'm, you know, I'm feeling like the Tooth Fairy. She's just a blip. It's really bugging you, isn't it? Hey, it is. It is. What are you going to do about it? I mean, you don't have to worry about it because Iris going to figure it out. I think I'm done. I think my kids are done losing teeth. Like, I don't understand where these teeth keep falling out of because I thought you only had like 32 <laughs> teeth. My kids lost so many teeth. Yeah. I haven't counted. but Well, like, I think you lost count. I did lose you count. You didn't keep and track. Like, and they're definitely just baby teeth. He's, not, he's not like starting in on a second set at this point. Yeah. Still, I thought I was going to save all my kids' teeth. And I did save some of them, but they get a little gross after 20 years. You open up boxes <laughs> and you find teeth, little my tiny dad teeth has in all there. Of our it's teeth sort of still disgusting. in his jewelry box. Hey, I think it's time for a song. That okay. The hour is just like zooming by. So zooming. Okay, okay so okay, here's another one of Martin's. Uh, it's called Peace of Mind. Okay, go. There was a line 
When I crossed it, there was a chance But I tossed it If there was a map, I would have lost it And there's nobody to tell me where to go I've been alone, gazing at the sky I've looked down inside, fretted and worried. Morning comes and I'm still alive. I have survived, but my head's always spinning. I can't find no peace of mind, and I got miles to go. I can't find no. But remember there was a flame But now it's just an ember I was a reckless woman but I've tamed her And she is restlessly haunting all my days I've been in pain Looking for salvation Tried mending my ways Atoning, repenting Comes out, the devil still mocks, points at the clock in the path, unrelenting. I can't find no peace of mind, and I got miles to go. I can't find no peace of mind, and I got miles to go. I guess I have to explain why that doesn't sound like a guy singing. <laughs> That's not my friend Martin singing, <laughs> but I he produced the album, so I just I thought it was his album, but maybe she's more the featured artist on it. Whoever she is, I'm going to have to do a little research on this, but he produced it for she, sure. She sounds nice. I thought, yeah, I thought I think he sings on it somewhere. I think I've heard his voice on it. Maybe he was doing but like background vocals and I, we missed it. Not no, I just picked it up and it was all her. It was like five of her voices singing. So I don't know these producers. You never know what they're gonna do. Crazy people. Yeah. Crazy people. Yeah, people have been contacting me, which is good because I was getting a little worried about the my winter employment. But lately, I've gotten a few calls. Got if some. I got had some money, new stuff. I would call you. I yeah. wish I did. I yeah, would love get some to do money. something, but get I don't have money. any money. When I have some money, I will. Yeah, that's the clincher is that people are yeah, having problems with money. Ugh. Money's money, funny. Money, money. money is funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's I could say a lot of things about money. But uh um, how about personal growth this week? Do we have any um any thoughts on it? I'm at a dead standstill in my growth right now, so yeah. you throw something out well, here. Well, I did write I I have a note here about self-publishing. Now, I know that sounds like a little bit far far afield from personal growth, but I just want to say that I think that people should self-publish and not sit around and wait for, you know, to be validated by some established publishing entity. You know, I mean, it's cool to have your book on some legitimate, uh, you know, publisher's know roster. One, but anyway, I'm so yes, you stumped do. at the moment. Well, and I'm pissed at myself because last year was supposed to be the winter that i wrote slash finished my book and well, didn't how, even... how's it look for this year 
I don't even want to say anything now because I'm like, now I'm gun shy that like nothing will happen again and then I'll feel extra disappointed in myself. Well, you could just sort of cut down your goals a little bit. I mean, because if you, if you make it, it's sort of like taking a baby step and do one small thing. Like, oh, I'm going to edit five poems or something like that. And then all of a sudden, once you're into it, you get really excited and then it like grows into this huge project. Yeah. But but you have to start from these tiny little tiny little baby steps, which is basically how I... I got my book. I just have no actually. confidence in myself for yeah. some reason. It just doesn't make any sense because I've been writing, you know, over half my life now and it's, you know, yeah. been published. So clearly sure. it's oh, not that bad, right? Or else people wouldn't publish it. But do you have an authority <sighs> complex? Probably. That What's you that feel mean? like said, like there's greater authorities that somehow need to validate you yes, in order to yes. validate yourself. Absolutely. Well, that's what I'm suggesting. You should just get over that piece. Because I, I mean, how do you get over that piece? Do you just say screw y'all? I'm great. Yeah, like, I can't. I don't know how to put do it. That. Just put it to the side. Just pretend it isn't there. Ugh. Basically, you have to pretend it isn't there and just do the stuff that is fun for you. And 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 I, you know, that's when it's fun for other people to read it. If it's fun for you to write it. No, it's always fun for me to write it, but I'm so terrified of rejection that I can't stuff that piece to the side. It just jumps in the way and wrestles but you, me. But you never get rejected. I get rejected all the time. What, people? <laughs> yeah, but that's that's more... Not for writing, because I... Exactly. It's important to me, so I haven't put it out there enough to be rejected. Or I haven't put my own thing out but enough you, to be rejected. But you do, you just don't be... Again, you don't pay attention to the people who reject you. What's I the point? I write on what's assignment and I write for that? other people, but I am never like... But that's different. I'm going to write what I want and you guys are going to publish it. Like, I never do that. Because I'm afraid they're going to be like, why do you think we want to hear what you want to write about? Well, we want you I, to write about what we assigned you to write about. I said to you like five mm-hmm. years ago that we should start a publishing company. I, know, I want to. So we let you're going to look like five years from now, you're going to look back on this day and say, I remember Christina wanted to start a publishing company <laughs> and I poo pooed it. I'm not poo pooing it. I want to too. But the problem with you and I is we are broke people. How are we going to do this? Well, because it's just like I started. I started making records on a record label. Yeah, that was fake. I mean, it's a fake record label, but now it's Everything actually a real fake record you make label. It, but, but I think we have to have a little money for this one. I don't. I mean, Kickstarter, look at, I've got this other Kickstarter going. I mean, that's like just pre-funding something. That's Basically, true. all that money goes towards making the thing, but it's pre-funding it so you can do it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And then people start to think you're a legitimate writer because you're doing never. it. I've never done a Kickstarter thing for anything. Well, it come to the afraid. professionals. I, <laughs> I shouldn't make you afraid. It's fun. You'd have so much fun with it because you're such a good writer. So you'd have fun with that interaction with people. Maybe. I can guarantee it absolutely 100%. Okay. We'll kick it around some more. Okay. We'll kick, we'll kick the can. Who blinged? Was it my phone or your phone? Kick the can. I don't think it was my stupid phone oh. that I hate. <laughs> like all my apps are gone. So I've just very selectively. I don't what even do think I'm going to. apps are gone? Well, all my apps are not on my new phone. And I, I don't know what they were because my phone died. So that I just put the ones on that I missed the most. Like my bank. I missed that one. <laughs> so that's where I deposit my checks. And then the other oh, was God, I my. I have to go to the bank. Don't let my me forget. Audi- my aunt. Uh, my audiobooks, the lib, uh, what's it called? Libby. Libby? Libby. That's the app. It's called Libby. Everybody sh- could, should get it. Everybody who has a library card should get it because then you can, uh, you can borrow audiobooks on your phone and listen to audiobooks. What? Yeah, which is what I do. I that's how I, that's train. I, I know. What's going on? Was that mine? Oh. That is a train. That's whistle. a train. What the heck is happening in South Royal Tank? This is like not right. This we've is never like, had double trains. I think we've switched timelines. I think Let's we're see at, if it's maybe that's the other I, train sounded weird because it wasn't the same wow, kind of train. Everything's just everything's changing. Wow! It's the Christmas. Probably the Christmas rush is happening already. It's filled with presents or turkeys. It's, sounds mad. It's really trying not to hit p- 
people or cars that might be on the tracks, you know? Because I don't think modern trains have cow catchers, so to speak. I think they have to, because so it's like a brush guard. Okay, but you're in trouble sort of, if you're on the tracks. That's sort of an anticlimactic train. What do you mean? Two trains in one day is like... What, do you think that's too much? It's too much train. It just... Too much cowbell. <laughs> I don't know. I liked it. Good. Well, all your notes have fallen on the floor now in your excitement. I know. Oh, we have like three, <laughs> minute, three minutes to go. So I think we... um, You know, it's like this mic is hotter than it used to be. I wonder if it's like... Maybe everything maybe here different... is going to blow up when we walk out. You think like, so? Like in those previews for action adventure movies yeah like and the ladies in their tight leather pants walk away and something explodes in back of them and they don't even look back <laughs> right because we're gonna today. walk away they're from the radio today. station in our ratty looking jeans yeah. and my <laughs> right because they have a new uh adventure or like a new mystery to That's solve right. so yes. we let's think of everybody should think that once the show ends they should walk forward into the new mystery and and look towards solving it with or yeah. without the tooth fairy or flames. I mean, I don't think, I don't think we or should explosions. let that hold, hold us back No, But see, that makes me feel like I could create something that could be iconic. If the tooth fairy was just made, she was just born. Yeah. You know, what else is out there waiting to be born? Exactly. My point. Man, that is so good. Oh, we have to set our cookie date too pretty soon. Yeah, we're gonna you know make what? some we food. We have to make. We gotta. We gotta figure out what the problem was with our icing too from last year. Wasn't that bad? Weren't you having to drizzle it on with like a spoon? And it was like <laughs> it was a little time consuming. It was a little labor intensive, so yeah, to speak. It took us all day to but make it, a very uh, small amount of cookies, but. You did all the all the baking, and we just did the dri- <laughs> we did all the dribbling. Yeah. It was I don't know. Maybe we could look at some different cookie recipes too. Uh, possibly, yeah, I've been saving lots of them, so I got, yeah, I like got many for us to choose from. I don't know. Maybe venison cookies. Ew, what? Ew, I don't. Know, I just said that just because I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> and I felt like saying something naughty. <laughs> okay, we got to get off the air. So. Okay, hey, weirdo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, we've been listening. We, we have been talking. What? We you have been, you have been listening. We didn't introduce a show. Well, we yeah. Sing, 11th hour That's, radio. I was just doing it. Blah, you blah, interrupted blah. me oh, and sorry, I was just going to do go. it. I said you, I do said it. we have been listening and I meant okay. you have been listening okay. to 11th then hour radio. Yeah. From South Royalton where all the trains come through. It's a so bigger junction trains. than White River. I think they have many Evidently. more. I think they have several trains. Oh, we have to get off the air. I'm not kidding you. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> Thanks for listening. See we will see you next, next Friday. Week. Lord, it's been so long since I've seen the River Jordan. I used to sit and think they When life was as simple as water It seems so complicated now well, my mother and my father have been waiting I used to feel so sure in their arms Love was as easy as family seems so. Many 
children in my other lives And I've gathered them and I've held them in my arms But I Ah uh-huh. 